Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Enter the Ether, the podcast all about ethereal clash of souls. I'm your host, the Mangoose. Joining me, as always, is the Batman to my Robin. It's Jelly Knees. How you doing, Jelly? I'm good, Mangoose. See, we're establishing here that you're the sidekick and I'm the lead hero. I get it. Exactly. It's all exactly. great. That's I'm what a fan. We're doing. <laughs> How's your week been, Jelly? How you been? It's been a crazy week for me, man. But uh, how about you? What? How's your week been? Yeah, same old, same old shit. Just wait for ethereal. That's all I do. <laughs> I don't. I don't work anymore. I just sit here. You just wait. And yeah. Wait. Just constantly. That's <laughs> yeah. all we do. We. What, you think we have lives outside of ETE? Oh no. No, no. We just sit here and wait every week for ethereal <laughs> news and then record this. And uh, that's what we're going to be talking about this week is uh, what we're doing in preparation for uh, release and what Undying Games needs to do before they release because there's a couple things that we're still looking for. I thought they would be out by now and then. And now they got half their team snowed in in Texas. Mm -hmm. They first they first they had the the Columbia riots. And now they got the Texas thing. They need to really consider not having their stuff in dangerous locations. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. How come they couldn't see all this stuff? Global pandemic, Columbia it's, it's, riots, snow right. in Texas. How it's dare Texas. they? It always snows in Texas. Like, like Texas is known for its blizzards. Yeah. No, how dare they? They should have known these things in advance. <laughs> hopefully that doesn't slow them down too much but uh that would um i'm done waiting man i've had enough, <laughs> I've had enough. oh it's gonna be this time it's gonna be this time it's gonna be this year it's gonna be first quarter of this year it's gonna be last quarter of the, it, it <laughs> never it never happens getting frustrated a yep. lot of the fans are i don't want to i don't want to push them too hard i would rather them like i said before take their time on a good product than rush out a shit product but what, you don't want the cyberpunk treatment i do not want the cyberpunk <laughs> treatment even though I, I didn't play cyberpunk at all i heard it was good on computer I, it was great the game when it worked was fine yeah uh, when it worked is the caveat to that <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so yeah like you said this week just going over what we need to see still from them in preparation for the launch i mean the biggest thing being a trailer of some kind, showing actual gameplay footage yes, for the game. The gameplay trailer, not just the cinematic mm -hmm. trailer, actual gameplay in that trailer. They can put some cinematics in there. They can be all cool about it if they want to, but we need to see that gameplay. People need to be reassured that this project is a real thing and that they need that proof. They need that proof from a from a gameplay trailer. And then um, other than that, they're going to we know that they're going to crowdfund it. So we need to see the crowdfunding come out. You would think that they would do that at least a month before launch is to start crowdfunding it unless they they're, they're going to launch in along with the crowdfunding. You think they would? I do wouldn't that? think so, because they've always said that your access to the pre alpha will come from the crowdfunding. So they right. need to at least start it at least, I would say, a month before any kind of pre alpha would open. Uh, yeah. There is always the potential they could do something similar to what uh, Strange Matter Studios did and do crowdfunding and then a couple months from when that ends to when the beginning of the testing phase pre-alpha would start. Right. So they could do that. But I, other than that, that's all we've heard. Bef I mean, before the end of last year, they were saying that the end of the crowdfunding would lead straight into the pre-alpha. So I don't know if that's still something that they're trying to do one way or the other. Let's hope that goes better for them than it went for Strange Matter. Strange Matter kind of got screwed by Steam. I know a lot of people, including myself, gave Strange Matter shit for that, but a lot of that was not their fault. A lot of a lot of their problems were um, were Steam related problems that they didn't really have much control over. So hopefully, Undying Games can learn a little bit from that and improve upon that experience for everybody. Well, and they're going to have their own really launcher too. Matter. So as long as their launcher is solid, it should be pretty easy them to just implement it and get it out to people yeah they're not going Let's through some so. third-party service to get their game out to others i would expect and this is a little um a little cocky of me i guess i would think that you and i would get keys and possibly some keys to even give away but i'm not banking on it like i'm not either <laughs> but i agree with so, you i don't want to be that guy that's like oh you should give me a key because i create yeah, content I know, right? for you no that's not what it is <laughs> Um, but I, I totally understand what you're saying, what you mean by that. So it's that weird. I'm planning to spend money should I have to. Yes. And uh, one thing I've done 
is I know myself. I know that when it comes out, I'll have some sort of weird truck problem that requires all my money or something. So I went ahead and bought a prepaid card and I have it hidden away in my closet with enough money to purchase a key just on that card. So if it comes down to it, I'll, I'll have that ready so that I can, so I can buy into the game as soon as they let it go. Cause <laughs> I'm going to build you. I'll, and in case of pre alpha, like fire hydrant case for your prepaid card. That way, the second the Kickstarter or whatever they glass. use launches, you can break the glass and pull out the card. <laughs> you can just mount it on the wall behind you so we all see it. <laughs> I think I'll do that. I think I will do that. I think I'll spend more money on a breakable glass case than the actual card. That's for the memes, the Mangoose. Always for the memes. <laughs> So what what other things what are things are you doing to prepare for the eventual launch jelly? I mean, as from a content creator perspective, I mean, I've been flushing out my video catalog, right? So um but also kind of brushing up on 3D MOBA s strategies and how how they play different from other MOBAs so that I can kind of go in with hit the ground running when the game launches to help create right. content and talk about all those things and get the ball rolling. And that's one of the things that I've been doing is watching my old Paragon videos of, of my own gameplay, which I find to be the most effective way to improve yourself in any game is to go back and look and see what you could have done differently. Um, one thing you'll hardly ever hear me do is blame my team for anything. Even if it's their fault, I still try and look back and think, what could I have done differently to have a better outcome sometimes it's nothing sometimes you can't think of a single thing you could have done different to to have a better outcome sometimes the enemy team is just better and they outplay you that does happen i think i think that would really lower some toxicity if people would understand that sometimes the enemy team carries their plan forward when you when you're trying to carry your plan forward everybody seems to think that they go in with these builds and that this build is going to do exactly this and then they get countered and then they get mad at their own team because they got countered. But the way I always think about it is in rock, paper, scissors, just because the, let's say mangoes pick scissors and I pick paper, I lose, mm -hmm. but there's not a ton that I could have done differently that he just happened to have the better option than I did. Right? right. It's sometimes you can do everything perfectly and still lose because the other team just did it better, more effective, whatever it may be. But there's something to be said of finding that balance of, can I do something better or did I just get outplayed? Right. And usually there is at least one or two things that you could have done better. Even if it, even if it is somebody on your own team that kind of, that kind of screwed you over. Like you really thought your jungler was going to come in for the gank, but then they didn't. Well then, you know, if you die, then you just don't rely on that jungler for ganks anymore. And then that's, you just play the game out that way i mean it it's not his fault that he didn't gank he's playing his his game a certain way you're playing your game a certain way they just didn't mesh up that doesn't mean he's bad that doesn't mean you're bad it just you need to adjust the way you play based on your surroundings so i think that's a really good point that you just mentioned of it's the uh fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me right when you yeah. expect something from someone on your team and they don't do it and then you expect it again from them and they still don't do it. You're just making yourself <laughs> yeah. angry instead of just playing safer or whatever it may be to get that done. Um, Mangoose missing a thunk on Narbash. I'm going to flame him every time for it, though. I'll be like, no, Mangoose, yeah. you should have hit the thunk. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> that, that's another thing that people get real pissed off about um, with me being a support main. Sometimes you screw up in the early game. You let your carry die. Sometimes it's their fault. Sometimes it's your fault. But the end result is that your carry is underfed and maybe your mid laner is going off. I'm going to abandon the carry. I'm going to start, start supporting that mid laner <laughs> in team fights and making sure they stay alive. Yeah, maybe it is my fault that the carry is underfed, but I still want to win the game. So I need to make that choice to just abandon the ADC and be like, all right, man, you're on your own back there. Try not to die. I'm going to keep this Gideon alive because he is bombing the enemy team right now you heard so. it here first if you feed your lane and mangoose is your support he's just gonna ditch you yep <laughs> and he'll just he'll Absolutely. just follow me around in the jungle just casting things as marina all the time yep. I, ex I fully expect it sorry That's not exactly sorry exactly what's gonna happen i'm gonna give my waters to you jelly <laughs> I'm gonna pee on your leg. i'll take a free support following me around the jungle what, where do i sign <laughs> for that 
That sounds great. But if you're flying, I'm not going to be able to fly though. Get good. <laughs> Figure it Hopefully, out. Hopefully you'll be able to like get like below a rock. I'll jump just so that I'm balancing on your head and then you fly <laughs> and I just won't move at all. <laughs> I really want to try that now. I hadn't thought about doing something like that. <laughs> Getting the hit boxes to work just perfectly that you take off with me. I can show <laughs> you the world. Even if you have to bounce on their heads, somebody's going to figure that shit out. Where he can oh carry my God. Somebody I love it so much. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is what the pre alpha is going to be incredible for is the little things yeah. like that, where you're going to be like, why? <laughs> I don't blame them for not finding this, but why does it exist at the same time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, uh, to go back what, to like what, what you said about what are you doing? What, okay, go ahead. Go the ahead. What you prepaid card, right? I don't have a prepaid card. Oh. I didn't go that far, but that's a genius idea. Uh, but I did. I have a separate account that I've put money into, basically like in case of pre-alpha. Oh, okay. Then I just move that money over, and there it is. I don't have to worry about it. I don't because you're right. The second that that crowdfunding drops, something will go wrong. <laughs> something, something always does. It's gonna be like, oh well, you need new tires, a new brake, ever. It's snowing suddenly in Texas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and guys, stay stay up to date on Undying's Twitter, on their Discord, on their Instagram, all that crap, so that you can know as soon as they do start crowdfunding, because I imagine those keys are going to go pretty quick. Um, there's only 2,000 slots in the beginning. Like, if you do get a key and you don't get into those initial 2,000, they will be adding them in as they go along, but Everybody wants to be in that initial wave, man. Nobody wants to be left behind. Absolutely. Yeah. Can you imagine if you and I were 2001 and 2002? Oh, be be so similar. sad. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make content of other people's content in order to do anything with it. <laughs> hey, man, can I, bump a, can I bump some video off of you? <laughs> <laughs> so what else have you been doing to prepare for the launch, Jelly? Uh, I mean, that's about it for me, just trying to yeah. get all my ducks in a row going in. I, and something I've been doing on the video production side is building up good habits now while it matters less, for lack of a better way to put it. Mm -hmm. So that I'll like I usually will record all of my videos on a weekend, uh, edit them during the weekend and then just schedule them out. That way I don't have to worry about it during the week. And it's kind of I just make it a work day of making videos instead of at 2 a.m., being like, I have to record a video for tomorrow, right? Trying to yeah. figure out what I'm trying to do with all of that. Consistency. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's something I've never been able to uh, stick to. <laughs> what about you, Mangus? What else have <laughs> you been up, up to? Uh, another thing, this is kind of more of a philosophical thing. I've been trying to kind of treat gaming. Uh, like I want to be good at Ethereal. Like I had, I was decent at Paragon. I, 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 was, I was a plat player. I was never like high diamond or a master or anything like that. I want to be actually good at Ethereal. I want to be one of those top players. So I, I've been trying to kind of identify some of my core failures as a gamer just in general and then try and shore up those weaknesses. One thing I definitely know about myself, when things get hectic, like in a huge team fight, there's all kinds of crap going on. My brain just kind of checks out and I will forget where the hell I am on the screen because I'm focused on a thousand other things. And I really need to... I've been trying to play games that have a lot of stuff going on on the screen, like Streets of Rage 4, like we've been playing. And um, just to kind of get my mind to where I can settle down in those high stress situations and really focus on what I need to do. That's why I always sucked at Quang in Paragon, because I would 100% of the time forget that I had thrown my sword and then try to attack somebody with my hands or like <laughs> all the time with Quang, I would forget that I didn't have my sword because I'm just... I don't pay attention to myself in the middle of the team fight. Yeah, so no, I, that, sure I mean, that's that. a great idea. And toward that end, something else I didn't think about until you mentioned that is I've actually several times gone into Smite um, purely because it's got a practice mode that I can mess with and mm -hmm. have started building muscle memory of farming with different types of heroes. I know it's going to be different in Ethereal, but if you can get that same mouse sensitivity in line, you're going to have a, a much better opportunity to quickly figure that out and build up those that muscle memory faster than trying to just learn it all at the same time. So yeah, I've been doing a that a, a, every once in a while, not super consistently, but just going into the practice mode and smite and just, okay, moving minions, stable minions, the whole nine yards, trying to practice up that muscle memory for it. 
yeah, I get just any game, I guess, that uses that sort of same layout with Q and E and right click and R and for all your abilities and stuff would probably work really well for that. Like League of Legends, I guess, would you could get it's more of the strategic pointers of a MOBA, but mm -hmm. it's going to be different in Ethereal. Whereas I think, um, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I think playing Overwatch would be better than playing League of Legends when it comes to preparing yourself for something like Ethereal. Yeah, I would completely agree to that. I think League could help you out in a macro sense mm -hmm. of in a MOBA, in a in a tower defense-esque, not tower defense, um, in a tower in lane setup for MOBAs. What are the macro things that I have to do? M global objectives, towers, mini wave management to an extent, the, the bigger things that you can learn that transfer from game to game. Whereas the smaller things you have to practice in a similar environment to pick up on. So the micro stuff. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. That, that's about all I had for as far as what I've been doing to prepare. Um, we really didn't have much to talk about this week. Uh, hopefully... As things roll forward, we'll have a hell of a lot more to talk about. Did you have anything else you wanted to touch on before we close out, Jelly? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't. I mean, the, the last we heard from them was quarter one, 2021. Whether that's accurate or not is up in the air still. Um, uh, so, but that's the last we heard. That's the that, that's the most up to date information we have from the team themselves. Quarter one ends in March, right? Correct. Or is it April? March. Okay. So really, if that's the date and we're right about having crowdfunding for at least a month, we really only have two to three weeks maximum before they would have to start that crowdfunding to meet that date, assuming they're going crowdfunding into pre-alpha right afterwards. Right. And hopefully things like the community corner that they, that they did... That's like they're starting to open up and, and come forward with more stuff. Hopefully that means that it's soon, that it's coming soon. Yep. No TM, I, just soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get that soon TM shit out of here. Exactly. Um. All right. So you got anything to plug, Jelly? YouTube. That's the big thing. More videos this week. We're starting an item series going through all the items and all of that good stuff starting tomorrow. Well, Monday. So yesterday, whatever day oh, it is. Um, but so, yeah, we're going to post a different item type each day and go over what they do, how they work, what myths we think are going to fit into with them, things like that. So I'm excited to do well, all that. But that's about it for me. What about you, Mangoose? Good stuff. Uh, I think I will do an ethereal video. I'm going to do it. I mean, you've already covered like what you think their abilities will be. I'm going to do kind of the same thing with the voice lines and the lore and combining everything. So i uh, been wanting to do that for a bit. So I think I'll do that this week. Sounds good. Um, yeah. All right. I think that's going to be it. I know this is a short ETE and uh, they're, they're going to get a hell of a lot longer when we actually have a game to cover. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you guys all join us as we enter the ether. Man, goo!